Hey, how you doing? It's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at a Kirkland. Kirkland, this is a Whirlpool design sold by Costco. And what is happening is the timer does not advance. So the timer stays in one place. You turn it on and it'll run all day. Unfortunately, it's a bad thing. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to talk about here is how to fix this. Now this is, of course, the this round thing, is the timer advanced motor. And it's very likely that this motor has gone out. Uh, and so the way to test it is typically you could test for continuity on these two round wires. You see, of course, you want to uh, isolate the motor and um, see if you have continuity. Now, as you may have noticed, um, I do have the unit unplugged. So the unit is unplugged. Of course, I wouldn't touch wires uh, with it plugged in unless I wanted to uh, get electrocuted. Anyway, this is a basic Whirlpool timer. Model, what is it? M60-0. Anyway, so, and then also if we wanted to check another way, we could uh, turn it on and see if we have power to the uh, two brown wires. If we don't have power, we know there's a problem with the timer. If we uh, run a continuity meter between the two brown wires, we don't have continuity, um, we know that motor shot. So that's one way to deal with this, and I have rebuilt these timers. The timers, these particular ones come apart fairly easily. Um, from my experience over the last 15 years of pulling them apart and I clean the points and uh, close the tolerances and so what we're going to do is I just happen to have some extra parts the exact same timer console so and I do have lots of parts if you need some used parts you can contact me Eureka Recycler at yahoo.com I also give phone advice for a fee 707-443-8347 Pacific Time 926. It's uh, $25 for the phone consultation. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this timer out of here and we're going to put it in here. And so we're going to take one wire off at a time so we know where the wires go and then put it back in and give it a try. Okay, funny story about this camera I'm, got, I'm using. This camera, I was actually at someone's rental and I was like I am now, there's no one here, it's just vacant. And uh, a policeman came in and asked me what I was doing here and I told him I was doing repairs. I pulled my camera out and tried to film the officer and they knocked it out of my hand. So they gave me this other one. So anyway, yeah, so I was, uh, uh, approached by an officer at this vacant apartment I was at basically. Oh, the neighbors called the police on me. I looked at the neighbor when I was going in and out of my vehicle apparently. Uh, when I looked at the neighbor, they looked away, and so they act like they didn't see me, and I don't know why, but it's like strange. Anyway, they call the police. Next thing I know, there's a policeman here. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm fixing an appliance. Can't you see? I'm like down on my knees, and basically I ask them, what, what were they doing here? And uh, I asked if I could film, and I asked if the officer could recite their oath of office. Uh, I pulled out my camera, and the officer knocked it out of my hand. 
So this camera that I'm filming with right now is the replacement camera I got um, from the officer for destroying my other camera. Anyway, so back to the timer control. Um, so these timer controls, um, this one is actually the exact same model number, which is great. They have these little holes in the uh, spades for the connector connections. And so basically, I have this little tool that I use. And you have to, you don't want to pull on these wires, particularly these ones that are connected to the timer motor. They can pull out of there fairly easy. And if you're pulling too hard on these uh, connections here on the side, uh, they can pull out and get destroyed. So basically, as you can see here, there's a little tang that has to be pushed inside because that little tang holds up on these little holes on these uh, spades. So you have to be careful when you do that so that you don't tear apart your spades. Anyway, we got the old or the replacement out of the console here. And we're going to pull these wires out one by one and hook them up to this timer. Okay, so the, main, the rainmakers are at work here, up here in Northern California. You know, like the ammonium chloride and the silver iodide to control the weather. Anyway, I noticed uh, the gutters were overflowing, so I did a quick gutter cleaning while I was waiting for this to shut off. And this shut off fine. I usually set it on the air fluff as I check the timer. But basically, it's working fine, advancing, and sometimes you can actually hear the ticking. Uh, when the machine is at idle, sometimes you can hear the ticking of the timer. Uh, this one I don't hear it, but sometimes you can hear the ticking. Okay, so here's a quick tip about your washer and kind of an off story here. We had the Somebody actually came in because the door was unlocked here at this. It's a vacant rental. Somebody actually came in. They had some clothes over here. They were washing their clothes, coming in without permission, washing their clothes. And things are getting pretty weird here. Uh, actually, some like teenage kid asked me if I had a needle he could borrow, which is pretty crazy. Okay, hard times in Northern California. Anyway, so the tip about the washing machine is basically, I just replaced the agitator dogs inside this. They're called agitator dogs. Uh, they're basically a ratcheting mechanism for this agitator. So if we turn the agitator this way by the top, we should see the bottom turn as well. The agitator should go this way freely and the bottom will not turn. If you turn your agitator, the top of your agitator, this is a two-piece agitator, of course. If you turn your agitator this way and the bottom does not move, then that means the agitator ratcheting dogs are shot inside. So they need to be replaced. Okay. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. And one more tip. If you're dryer just hums, sort of grunts when you push the on button. It's likely something has fallen down here or you need a new motor. It's not necessarily this switch. Okay. Anyway, that's your tip Audio for today. Senior. Thanks for watching. Hallelujah. Your donations help support reuse and recycling worldwide. Thank you. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com.